Hi everyone, this is the after school leader of the Holmesburg Library with a uh, with an educational board game recommendation. So for those who don't know, at our library we have uh, teen board games and uh, aside from that we sometimes bring out uh, other games and such for uh, children or teens to play and um, uh, because of that I wanted to give a recommendation for a uh, fun board game that is uh, educational and also uh, just very enjoyable to play. This is Scrabble and uh, a lot of people have played this but not everyone knows how to play and I have come across a, you know, a good number of teens or young children who don't know how to play so I just wanted to give a quick explanation of the rules. So basically uh, how the game works is that there's some board that looks like this where you know there's a bunch of squares and basically people take turns putting tiles down with the letters and then they have to make words out of it. Um, at the bottom of the tiles is like a number so for example the letter F is worth four points then R, I, E, N are worth one point then D is worth two points. So if someone played the word friend for example then uh, the uh, total points that that player would get at the end of their turn is uh, they would add up the points four, one, 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 two, and then it's ten points and then if they come across any tiles that say like double the word points or like double the letter points you do double it or you triplet maybe, um, depending on what it says. So this one uh, was played on a double uh, point tile, so that's why it's times two and it becomes 20 points for that person's first turn. Um, and then uh, play goes around um, uh, to the next player and so on and so forth. And at the end of every turn you draw up back to seven tiles. Um, for, for this uh, first turn, uh, it's always double the uh, number, uh, it's always double the points, but then afterwards uh, players will often aim at these tiles and such. And then eventually, uh, when the next player goes and such, um, they build off of the letters. For example, after friend, someone else might put uh, pension as the word, and then after that, someone else might put noisy. And they're always building off of these letters and such, and then counting up the points and multiplying or you know such to uh, get their total score for the round. And then. Um, uh, in addition to that, uh, one thing that's really nice about Scrabble is that uh, it scales uh, really well for children because um, you can oftentimes just play by house rules. For example, instead of having, uh, if there's a young child who wants to play it but uh, might not know as many words or uh, isn't as good about uh, positioning the letters, you can play more freely. For example, just let children play anywhere on the board and that's totally fine and just ignore the uh, beginning um, tiles and such and then they could just get practice making words and playing those words down and then adding up the points and such um, and that's a fine way to play. Um, it's also still very educational and fun um, and then for uh, older children or uh, some teens and such who want to play by more complex rules they can uh, go very cutthroat and um, play by the full uh, rule set and um, try to maximize their points every single turn and such. Um, that's how most. That's how adults tend to play and then a lot of teens might want to try that too to be more competitive with their peers. So that is Scrabble and it's a fun educational board game. Uh, there's like a hundred tiles or so and then um, there are a variety of different boards and such and uh, this is a game that we have available at our library but also uh, a lot of other libraries host events or uh, will sometimes have games out and this is a very common thing, a uh, very common board game that is available at those places. And even if, uh, if you wanted to you know, play this at home. Uh, Scrabble is very easy to find and buy in most uh, stores. Um, like I believe Target has it, and then like pretty much all like board game stores will have like some copy of it and such. Uh, just because it's so uh, popular, and you know, same for Amazon and other places. And then uh, it's uh, really good for building vocabulary and you know, just basic uh, addition and uh, such uh, skills for young children and teens. So I highly recommend it. Uh, try it out if you get the chance.